Hello, everybody, and hopefully uh, Eddie Izzard as well. It's the Calpar again. Um, as some of you may be aware, uh, Mr. E Izzard, uh, during his Force Majeure tour, we we'll go through the United States here, asked us fans to send in information uh, with outrageous facts about our hometowns. And uh, fortunately, uh, knowing outrageous facts about uh, Cincinnati is sort of my job. So I have decided to go above and beyond and provide you with three uh, outrageous facts about Cincinnati. WLW was a radio station which was started by Pal Crosley Jr. Uh, he was an industrialist in Cincinnati who is most famous for developing radios, a very cheap way to produce radios, but produced a number of things including a radio station uh, largely so that people who bought his radios would have something to listen to. Now what is important about WLW is that it was the first AM radio station to reach uh, 50 kilowatts, which is currently the maximum amount uh, permitted by uh, the FCC, and for very good reason, because for a very short time, uh, WLW also operated at 500 kilowatts, uh, or 10 times the current power. Uh, now, if this sounds a lot, that is because it is, and WLW actually was able to overpower other radio stations uh, all the way up into Toronto, Canada. So, uh, for very good reason, they decided to scale back the power on that. Uh, however, during its peak days, WLW was all across the United States, and uh, my grandmother continues to swear up and down that if you set out a metal wash basin, you could still pick up WLW on it. The Cincinnati Subway. Ooh, boy, Cincinnati Subway. That is a story and a half, um, and I could probably make a whole video about the subway at some point. Actually, I think I've been meaning to, but uh, more on that later. The short version of the story is that in the 1920s, the city of Cincinnati decided to build a subway system, uh, partly draining the old canal that ran straight through downtown Cincinnati and putting the subway tunnels straight through the old canal bed. Uh, and construction began in 1920 and continued until 1925 when they ran out of money. Um, and then due to one thing and another, uh, you had some fights in city council, uh, a Great Depression, a world war. Basically, the subway never got finished. And uh, the end of the result of the story was that the city of Cincinnati paid $6 million for a hole in the ground. Uh, and to this day, underneath Central Parkway, there is still... Uh, a subway tunnel which is unused and has never carried a single passenger underneath the city of Cincinnati. Two whole miles of unused subway tunnels. Finally, I want to talk about pigs because Cincinnati was known as Porkopolis. Oh boy, did we have a lot of pigs here in Cincinnati. Uh, this was mostly in the uh, 1840s going into the 1850s. Cincinnati was the largest meatpacking center in the United States and they drove pigs from all around the surrounding countryside to be processed in the city of Cincinnati. Uh, at one point, the record number of pigs in the city, 475,000, outnumbered the number of people in the city by four to one. Uh, so four pigs to every person. Uh, that's, I'm certainly glad I don't live in those days anymore. Uh, however, they used everything but the squeal of the pig in very literal sense. Uh, you can get quite a lot of meat off of a pig, obviously. And then they used all of the other parts of the pig as well. The uh, blood was used in cosmetics. Uh, the bone was used for handles and uh, buttons. The hair was shaved off of the pig to be used in bristles. And then finally, the, uh, the fat of the pig was rendered into soap and candles. Interestingly, that is how uh, Cincinnati famous company Procter & Gamble got their start here in Cincinnati, was rendering pig fat into soap and candles. Uh, they still make soap, uh, not so much candles anymore. However, I don't, I'm not sure if it's still made out of pig fat. I, I don't know. Anyway, so that's my uh, three outrageous facts about Cincinnati. I'm sure you can hopefully work that into your show somewhere. Uh, it's, I mean, it's your material. You're, you know what to do. Uh, and I will see you on May 28th when you come to Cincinnati. Uh, got my ticket here. Uh, I mean, you won't see me because I'm up in the balcony, so I'll be all the way in the back but super excited and thanks for watching they said this air would be breathable get in get out